Salim, congratulations. How does it feel to be named club captain for your hometown club? Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Shelton puts a really good ball in. Hogan heads it back across. It's the far close. And Liam Hogan with the opening goal. I'm thrilled to bits. And as like you said, with it being of, of a local team, um, you know, I couldn't be happier. Yeah. Torre from the right with the free kicks into the middle. Comes out to Hogan. Hogan, that's the second and two against York. Torre left footed. Tees one up to the far post. Hogan rising and it's tucked in. And Liam Hogan again. That's his second this afternoon. Walker crosses the ball in from the left-hand side for a free kick. Hogan gets down, makes it 4-1. To, to actually win the trophy, to be obviously the outstanding team over the, the number of games that we've got to play. Uh, and essentially, I would love to see this team and myself, you know, next year in, in the league above. The referee blows the ball on whistle and Salford City are champions of the Van der Rohe the National League North. In order to win it, we've done that. How does that feel now to captain them to the championship? Absolutely delighted, and I'm just obviously grateful to be uh, to be a part of sort of today and to get Salford up to the, to the level that they're going to be next year. We are next door neighbours of Salford City Football Club, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Liam Hogan and his relationship with the school. So for the past two years, Liam has been a major part of a programme called Being a Footballer, which has involved Liam and other players coming in, working with the children in the classroom and teaching football skills. Uh, Liam's really been a driver in that and has become a real positive role model for the children. So there could be a chance here for Bourne, it's poked towards goal. Michael Lastic's challenge there by Hogan. Trick being repeated. Redmond in towards the back post. Hogan rises. It's a goal, and it's the first of the season for Captain Liam Hogan. Heads in back to Torre. Just comes in now towards that near post. It's left to bounce. Hogan gets in and heads in a second. Salford City. Can Hogan handle the pressure? He can. He touches it home. What does it feel like to have led the club to your hometown, Gloucester Wembley? Uh, yeah, it's obviously a massive achievement, um, especially when I first joined the club. Uh, one of the interviews I did was obviously, what would you like to achieve here? And it was just basically the next step of getting us promoted out of the conference north. And obviously we managed that, we managed to win that with 91 points and uh, we had a fantastic season. And obviously this year was never going to be sort of a consolidation year, we were going to build and, and look to keep sort of the train moving. And Still we await the Opening goal here, voted in by Redmond. Oh, and there's a big chance, and it's it. All up from the back. And it's it. It's a second. Oh, it's in. <laughs> Promoted. Salford City are going up. A football league club for the first time in their history. A moment 79 years in the making. Sheer joy. They've achieved their footballing holy grail. Okay, we've done it. We're there. How's that feel? Oh, it's a massive relief. I'm so made up, honestly. I, I, like I said the other day in an interview, I said I don't think anything will fulfill this, especially at my age. With a link of the captain, being a local lad, you know, coming to Wembley, fantastic venue. Oh, obviously, it was a dream that we had to set out with all those years ago. And whoever it's been along the line, different management, different players, you know, all the fans, the new fans, the, the core fans for the 14 committee, for everybody that's stayed involved with Salford and seen it grow and progress. Lifting that's just on behalf of all those and I'm so, so proud to, to be from this town, it's, you know, it's brilliant.